Hey, hello, this is the Captain. There's going to be a Stormworks Basics on the new gimbal components. Uh, some people are still uh, looking for some insight in how to control them, so I thought I'd make a quick little tutorial on that. So I just have the static stand here. As you can see, we have a couple spotlights, a couple cameras, and a laser. So these are the parts that can be controlled uh, via composite now. They're part of the new gimbal parts and that gimbal update. And so if we look here, you'll see some new uh, some new arrows that will uh, indicate that these are the new parts. As you can see, we get an arrow going up and an arrow going forward. That will tell you these are part of these new these new parts. And so that will give you them. So uh, that's just the forward arrow's alignment and the up arrow's alignment. So you want to make sure those align correctly and they will uh, work for you. So we're going to make a panel here. And so these are controlled via composite. So we're going to also control it via a panel. And so let's go ahead in here. Uh, we'll start with a left arrow. And we'll go with, we'll then do a right arrow. And so that will allow us to go left, right. And then we'll go another arrow here. This one will be up. This will be three. And the next one will be an arrow that will be going down. And that will be four. And so that will be our different, uh, so we can go left, right, up, and down with these. All right, so if we look uh, on these parts now, we have a composite node. This is new as well. So you see we have a composite node on all these parts. That is new. So what we need to do is we need a microcontroller to control these. So I'm just going to grab a blank microcontroller. I have one that is called blank. You can just name yours blank if you want or name it whatever you want. So I'm just going to go in here, properties. I'm going to increase the length. I'm going to do gimbal. All right, gimbal controller. All right, so I'm going to update that. And so let's look at one more thing. So if we go to logic and we go to composite, if we hover over, it will usually tell you uh, what you need to control this. So uh, X, Y, uh, pivot is what it's called. And then it says value one is pivot X, value two is pivot Y. All right, so with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and we'll click back on the panel here on this uh, microcontroller we made. And we want to add a couple nodes. So we're going to add two nodes. Uh, one node is going to be a composite input, and this is going to be from panel. And then the next one is going to be a composite output to gimbal. All right, and we'll go ahead and get in there. All right, so I need to make this an input, and this one should be an output to gimbal. There we go. All right. And so let's start uh, cutting this up. So first thing we need to do is from the panel, we're going to do some uh, read on off. So we're going to be reading our booleans. And so there's four of them there. Let's uh, change the numbers. So it'll be one, two, three, four. And three and four. And if any of these are going the wrong direction, we can just flip things around. So likely that I screw them up and just have to flip it around. All right, and so we're going to go an increment. I'm going to do a small increment, so I'm going to do 0 0.001. That's nice and small. And we'll do negative 1, 1. And I'm just going to copy this again. I'll, we want to enable the clamp. And that will just make it so that we can't count over it because it won't allow us to go that far. And we'll do an up, down. And these might need to be flipped around. I'll have to play with them if they do. And so next thing we're going to do is write a number. So we're going to do channel, start channel one, and there'll be two channels. So that's for one and two. If we remember when we hovered over the composite, it had channels one and two. So we'll plug these in. All right, and so let's update that. Go in here to logic composite. We want to take the two gimbal and we want to hook it up to, we'll press hold control and we'll click through and we'll hook these up to all those parts. And then the panel will go to the uh, microcontroller. I just have a constant on. As you can see, that just turns everything on here. Uh, that's infrared mode. We don't need that. So that turns on all of this stuff. They're also, I have a just connected to a battery here. So let's go ahead and spawn it in. So as you can see, the light's on, the laser is on, and the cameras are on. And so these are our parts. So if we go ahead and... So you can see, if we hold this button right, both the laser and the spotlight are going right. If we hold it uh, going to the left, something's up with the left. I have to fix that then. Up, as you can see, and down. 
Let's go all the way up. You can see we can go to about a 45 degree angle on both uh, regimes. We'll have to see why that left one, I probably just screwed up connection on that one. And so as you can see, that will go about 45. So we actually get a lot of tilt with these. As you can see, that's about 45 degree angle. And let's go ahead and go back in. I see on the camera as well, the camera is looking where the laser is. So that's good. Let's go in here. I screwed something up on this first one here. So let's make sure one. Okay. Make sure I don't see I have this duplicated. That's why. So that need to be one, two, three, and four. So this should work now. So it was just when I uh, put the panel in, I forgot to change the number. So you can't have two numbers run at once. So as you can see, now we can go, those are backwards, but uh, if they're backwards, not a big deal. We can just go in here and we can flip these and they are now gonna work. And we'll go back over and this should all be working now. So you see, it's pretty simple to control, but this is really helpful because you can make some pretty small stuff now where before you had to have a couple pivots in order to do this. So it really shrunk things down, but this allows you to set lights, you know, say for example, you have lights high up on a truck. Well, you don't want the light shining out into the middle of nowhere. You'd want to either tilt them, you tilt them down so that they light up the road in front of you. If we look, the cameras are also moving as well. So hope you guys found that helpful and we'll see you in the next one.